In this third tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use bones and IK solvers in order to make our model move how we want it to move. So I pulled up the model of the excavator here, and we're going to ignore several pieces for this tutorial. So we're going to hide them. I'm going to just select the objects that I want to hide. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on the hide selection. So the ones that we want to hide are going to be these arms here. We want to hide these arms. We want to hide all of the hydraulic cylinders. And I will provide a copy of this model once I finish all of these tutorials if you want to use this model to practice on. So now I have everything hidden except for the main arm here, this arm, and the bucket. These are the ones we're going to use. So we're going to come up here to systems. We're going to click on bones and we're going to draw in the bones for these arms. Now before we do that, we want to make sure that we have the pivot points selected and put in the proper location. So on this arm right here, our pivot point is going to be these where this pin goes in this hole here. So we're going to adjust these pivot points. so that we get them right over these holes. I want to adjust this pivot point so that it's at this upper pin. And for the bucket itself, I want the pivot point to be at this pin here. Now that we have that done, we'll go back to our bones. And we're going to draw three bones. We're going to draw a bone here, up to this pivot point. We're going to draw a bone down to this pivot point, and then we'll draw a bone down the length of this bucket. Now, if you haven't done bones before, you get this extra little nub here. Just right click on it. It's okay that you have that there. So now, what we want to do, if everything's correct, the bone should be centered when you're looking at your top view, so you can see the bone is in here and centered and everything. What we want to do is we want to create a skin for these bones. So we're going to select each arm and we're going to add a skin modifier. And then we're going to look at the names of these bones here. So I'm going to click on this bone. This is bone one. The bone that's inside of this arm here is bone two. And this is bone three here. If you're having trouble clicking these bones to find the names, if you come up to this box here and select just bone, the only thing you can select are your bones. And you can just one at a time click on them and look at the name here. So now we're going to come up to our back up to our arm to the skin modifier and we're going to add just that one bone. So we're going to click on display, expand all, and we're going to add bone 1 to that arm. To this arm, we're going to add bone 2.
and to this bucket we're going to add bone 3. So now at this point we should be able to grab our bones and if we move our bones we can see that our arms are moving as well. So now we need to make this move more like the bucket would move. So if I grab this this bone here I can move the bucket and that works okay but if I want to grab this bucket and move it like the arm would move we need to add one more component here. So we're going to come up to animations. We're going to come down to IK solvers and we're going to add a high solver. But in order to do that we're first going to click on one of the bones and now this becomes available. Now the high, the HI, stand, is actually history independent solver. So we're going to click on that and then it wants us to choose something else. So we're going to come over here, we're going to choose the end of this bone. Now once we do that it snaps over and if I grab this bone now we see that both arms move at the same time. Let's go back a couple of steps. We're going to come back up to animation and this time we're going to make sure that we click this bone. So that our IK solver goes from the end of the first bone to the end of the last bone. Now when we grab this, we have that movement that we're looking for with this. So once we put the IK solver from the first bone to the end of the last bone, we can see that we can move our arm. The problem with that is, is that we can't rotate this bucket so that it appears to be digging in the dirt. So we're going to move that IK solver to the end of the second bone here. And we're just going to come down here and delete it. Go back up to animation, IK solvers. We need to make sure we have this bone selected first. And now we still get the same movement. But at this point, we can select the bone that we have down here on the bucket, and we can rotate that as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs>